We need to have the right spirit. We need to have the right attitude, caring about people, loving people, loving the lost. I'm going to close just kind of with this also being our responsibility and our duty. Okay, I kind of started with that, and I'm going to finish with that. Ezekiel 33 talks about the watchman, right? And it's our jobs to be watching, warning, and looking out for other people and caring for other people. Because that's what the watchman does. The watchman in a city, they're supposed to be on lookout. So if, so if there's people coming, they're going to attack the city. They're the first line of defense. They're looking out so that they can help protect everyone else inside the city. Right? So they're on the lookout. They're vigilant. They're putting forth the work. They're staying up late. They're, they're checking things out. And that's their job to do that. And we're going to see here, let's just, let's just read the passage before I just explain all of it. Verse number 1, Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts, and set him for their watchmen, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Basically saying, look, this guy's doing his job. He's warning people. You hear the warning, and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Well, you can't, you can't blame the watchman. <laughs> he did everything he was supposed to do, right? He, he sent out the warning. That's up to you if you're going to dismiss the warning. But let's keep reading here. Verse number 5, it says, He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver a soul. But hey, the person that hears it and believes it is going, hey, well... <laughs> I'm going to take up my own steps, and they're going to you know, basically save their soul. They're going to deliver their own soul and not going to be hurt by the, uh, the oncoming danger. Verse 6, But if the watchmen see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So they're saying, if this is this guy's job to watch. And he sees the danger coming, he sees the army coming in, they got other swords ready to go, they're ready to fight. And he just sits back, or he just says, well, I'm going to save myself, I'm out of here. He says, well, you know, people are going to be killed, people are going to suffer from that, but it's, his, it's going to fall on his head, on his shoulders for not doing his job and not warning the people. That's his responsibility, and God's going to hold him responsible for that. Verse 7, so thou, so now he's going to apply this, right? He gives this example, a physical example, a watchman defending a city, protecting a city. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Now specifically, he's talking to Ezekiel, and he's saying, look, I'm giving you words, and I'm giving you warnings, and I'm giving you messages, and you need to relay this to the people, right? Because they need to be warned. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. I mean, it's going to happen. Whether or not he knows it, it doesn't matter, because he's wicked, he's sinning, he's iniquity, he's going to die. He says, But his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So when it's your job and your responsibility to be a watchman and, and to warn people about destruction and to warn, hey, God said this, thus saith the Lord, you know, you better not do that. Then if you don't do your job, God's going to hold you responsible. And there's multiple ways of applying this, right? One is going to be me as a pastor. You know, if I know the word of the Lord and I know what the problem is with sin and I know what the, the judgment of God's going to be. Even for people who are saved, if they're going to sin and they're going to continue in their iniquity and wickedness, if I'm not warning them, hey, God's going to judge you. Hey, God's not going to hold you, you know, uh, blameless in this regard, and you're going to get judged. If I'm not doing that, then God's going to hold me responsible for people being ignorant of his word and not knowing, you know, the severity or whatever. But also you can apply this not just to save people, unsaved people. Right? It's our job to go and preach the word of God. We know what God said where unbelievers are going to go. We know what, what happens to people who die in their sins. He has given us the, the ministry of reconciliation. He's made us the ambassador. He's given us that job. 
and entrusted us with that responsibility to preach the gospel, we need to be going out and warning people. We need to be telling them about the destruction. We need to be warning them about hell. We need to be warning them about what's going to happen if they don't put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is our job. That is our duty. And as the Bible is saying here, the way that God's holding some responsibility, saying, you know what, that person that dies in their sin, they're going to go to hell. I mean, that's, gonna, that's, that's just what's going to happen. It's already been proclaimed. God, that judgment's there. But you need to be going out and warning them. So when we go out soul winning, you warn someone, hey, this is what the Bible says, right? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You think you get to heaven some other way. You think there's another way. It ain't going to happen, right? Now, they, they could reject you and say, no, no, I think it's all, all religions are all the same. We're all worshiping the same God, whatever. Look, you warned them. That's, that's not what the Bible says. That's not what God says. People go to hell if they're not going through Jesus Christ.